So this past few weeks, I've been grafting around the clock, working on business. It's just been non-stop, wake up, work all day. And I've kind of reached a point now where it's like brain fog. I can't think clearly and I've got no clear direction. I've basically gone online, Googled what can I do for mental clarity and stumbled across fasting basically. And I've, and I've tried fasting before on like a really mild, mild scale. But I basically decided to go balls deep and make a video about it and fast for 40 hours. So 40 hours, no food and minimal water. Not recommended, everything online says it's not recommended um, for beginner fasters or something, but can't drink water, can't eat, uh, eat any food. And then it's just herbal tea, herbal tea, herbal tea. So I've got these random herbs from some shop in Vietnam. Meant to contain ginseng, which I've used before, focusing. I've got a bit of it here because this is basically what I'm going to be having for the next 40 hours. See if this helps me with my goal of achieving more mental clarity or it just fucks me up and <laughs> you know, end up passing out or something. But So, very tempted to just order the whole menu and actually stuff my face before this starts. But I feel like that defeats the whole object of it. So I've gone for beef with, um, what have I ordered? Beef with green pepper. So yeah. That's what my body's going to be running off for the next 40 hours. Oh, it's arrived. No peppers, but take a fat steak any day. Get off. Can't use a chainsaw for this. Could be better. Cleaned up. Cleaned up. And it begins. I'll start the timer. Do we have a timer? There we go. 40 hours starts now. Let's have it. So I've got my water, 1.5 litres here, but I've got more bottles. I'll just drink that after. Baking soda. Basically, it's for your stomach acidity. I think that's going to be the saviour. These limes that I asked for, it's meant to be lemon, but they only had limes at the hotel reception. Yeah, let's cut them up. Try to squeeze them on the way in. Got a bit of that juice out. Baking soda. Put a couple in. Success. Smash this off. It's all right, you know. The herbs are brewing. First tea of, out of three for today. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so it's tea number two, day one now. Get that filled up. Been cracking on with some work. Got a cheeky gold trade open on my 100 pound challenge. Don't know if you can see that. I released a full video about that, just analyzing. It's been a roller coaster so far, so analyzing how that goes over the course of the week, how it's affected my psychology. Smash off this tea. The moths are trying to get in, so I need to be quick. Probably can't see anything, but cheers. Just about to pour the final tea of the day here. It's coming up to 9 p.m., so perfect timing. Very gassed, in fact, because I've just closed $600 profit on a trade. You can see, had a few losses in a row here, $10, $10 and whatnot, and then uh, just hit a big one on gold. $600, so that brings my account up to $800. And for $100 in a, in a few days, I call that a W, so definitely taking my mind off not being able to eat. Just gonna smash this tea off, get an early night, get up tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I think the pain and whatnot's gonna start kicking in tomorrow. The hunger, not pain. It's a bit overdramatic. Here we are. But yeah, I'll see you when I wake up. I'm sure I'll look even groggy than I do now. So it is the morning of day two. Time is on that. 16 hours, so we're halfway, nearly halfway. Feeling pretty drained, but normally doing the morning anyway, to be honest. Let's get a bit of that vitamin D. So yeah, today's the full day of no food and minimal water. So it's gonna be tea again all day with uh, exercise at midday. Yeah, today's gonna be a hard one, but I don't feel too bad right now, to be honest.
Okay, so it's coming up to 10 a.m. now, about 18 hours in. Got my hands on some of this shilajit, essentially like mountain resin, meant to be good for um, testosterone levels and stuff like this. <sighs> Tastes like power, whatever it is. Meant to mix it in with the tea. Gotta like melt it into the tea for it to come off. Felt knackered this morning, as you can probably see from the video. Had that stomach cramps and that. Yeah, been for a swim just, that was all right. But yeah, my stomach feels like it's shrinking. Yeah, I just feel a bit lightheaded to be fair, but that's, that was always gonna happen. So far, so good. So coming up to 1 p.m. now, just heading down the gym for this light exercise. I think uh, the biggest killer for me is gonna be not being able to drink water, because if any, anyone who knows me knows I sweat like mad. Let's see how we get on. Finished. Done a good 30 minutes there. Still wrapped after it. Sweats. Lost a lot of fluids, put it that way. I think I'll get my next tea in a couple of hours, so just gotta hold out till then. Definitely craving some food, even a smoothie, something like that. Gotta push on. There goes Willie Hodge. Drives his moped to the gym. Lazy bastard. <laughs> this jog back is killing me. So I've been grinding lately. Had to go back to the fucking lab. This afternoon's definitely gone from zero to a hundred. I feel weak, very weak. Definitely what killed me off was going to the gym with no water because I went to the gym at like 1 p.m. and it's now 5 p.m. and I can't drink water until 6 p.m. when I have my next tea, so I've still got an hour to go. Just been lying in bed, feeling like deceased. Like, Definitely felt the effects of it this afternoon. Time just seems to be going by so slowly. But obviously come this far, I'm not gonna give up. Keep soldiering on, and tomorrow, finally get to eat and drink as much water as I want. Bit of a change of scene for this one. It's now 9.30, coming up to 30 hours. Here with the last tea of today. Absolutely written off, I must say. Starts to take a bit of a toll on my skin as well. Yeah, tomorrow, early wake up, six or seven-ish. One of these bad boys. And then, yeah, as the timer starts to come to an end, 40 hours, I'll have a big bottle of water with uh, lime and so baking soda again. And finally break the fast and have a nice meal. Can't bloody wait, to be honest. So guys, thought I'd do a bit of an update for Chris. His curtains are still shut, you know. He's usually up at about 6 a.m. Still no sign of life for Mr. Chris. So clearly, fasting does exhaust you. You completely cleanse your system. So we'll see what happens. He's alive, lads. <laughs> 42 hours. <laughs> Woke up at like 1 a.m. and couldn't get back to sleep. And then ended up sleeping till 10 to 10. 42 hours in, I can finally eat and it's actually gonna end up being more like a 43 hour fast than a 40 hour. Will, thinking I'm dead. <laughs> but yeah, finished. So let's get at it. So, my closing thoughts are, yeah, definitely the slowest three days of my life. The biggest part of the challenge was not being able to have water when I wanted it, because I normally drink a lot of water. Uh, my skin's definitely took a toll. Um, yeah, but surprisingly waking up now I feel very energetic, surprisingly energetic. Excited to go and eat obviously, but feel feel great. Struggled to sleep last night, like woke up in the middle of the night, just feeling horrible, feeling absolutely horrible. If anyone tries this, comment on this video, let me know how you get on. I'll leave some more info about fasting in the description and I'll also leave my exact diet plan that I use for this three days of fasting. I encourage anyone to give it a try. Anyone who's made it this far watching the video, thanks. It's the first YouTube video where I'm like talking and stuff. There'll be a few more to come. I'm gonna try and keep them as exciting as possible. I wanna shoot a rocket launcher in Cambodia. Plenty, plenty more ideas to come. So subscribe, thanks for watching. Feel good? Mm. Finally. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs>